Uh, Mr. Nagel, Jennifer Nagel. Just your name and address for the record, please. Uh, Jennifer Nagel, 6208 Brian Lane. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Nagel, and I would like to speak to you about my daughter. My daughter is eight years old. She attends a Knox County Public School, and she has dyslexia. I am concerned because dyslexia is not a term the Tennessee schools use. My daughter has been struggling with reading since kindergarten, and I have heard a lot of, quote, be patient, it will just click. Well, she is about to go into third grade, and she is reading at an end of kindergarten level. How much longer do I have to wait before it clicks? I realized my daughter had dyslexia, and I went to her teacher and a few others in our schools, and I was told, quote, we don't use the term dyslexia. We call it a learning disability in reading. Here's my problem with that. Dyslexia is listed as a specific learning disability in federal IDEA law. The schools must use that term. Her teacher told me she has never been trained on how to help a dyslexic child. I was told by someone else to read with her more. Take her to a building called a library where I can get free books so she can read and that would help her. My daughter's teacher had no training to help her. And when I was told to just make her read more, I realized the problem isn't just with our teachers. None of the staff understands what dyslexia is. Just reading more will not help a dyslexic student. So what is dyslexia? Dyslexia is an impaired ability to understand written language, a learning disorder marked by a severe difficulty in recognizing and understanding written language, leading to spelling and writing problems. It is not caused by low intelligence or brain damage. Dyslexia affects one in five people. That means 20% of Knox County students have some form of dyslexia. Dyslexics use a different part of their brain than other people. Reading more won't help. What will help is training for our teachers in how to teach a dyslexic student how to read using the portion of their brain they do use. July 1st, the Dyslexia is Real Bill went into effect. This law requires the Department of Education to collaborate with institutions of higher education to formally address dyslexia and similar reading disorders by providing K-12 educators and teachers web-based or in-person training, providing effective instruction for teaching students with dyslexia using appropriate scientific research and brain-based multi-sensory sensory intervention methods and strategies. This bill has been interpreted to mean that teachers still in college will receive training, but not teachers currently in classrooms because, quote, we don't want to add one more in-service training for our teachers. I have heard from many teachers that want to learn about dyslexia. They want to help their students, but they aren't going to get the training. This greatly upsets me as a parent of a dyslexic child. Because the schools do not use the term dyslexia, it will never be a topic on one of the school board's agendas. I know you can't do anything about dyslexia training, but I am worried that my ability to take my needs to the school board is being threatened. They have said we have to go through the proper channels and document that before we can even speak. There are no proper channels for parents. This is a policy issue, and they set the policy. Please protect my right to speak freely before the Board of Education as I have before you today. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Nagel?